Hello everyone, my name is Stealth Jacob, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, last episode we did a lot of random things, we did some crafting, we gathered some resources and stuff like that. Uh, today, I believe we're going to start off with the Feast of the Winter Star, if I'm not mistaken. So we got that to look forward to. We got our gift here, it's for Evelyn. Evelyn likes flowers like tulips, so we got her that. So that's how we're sort of starting off, though. But yeah, let's check all of our crops and stuff first, that's the most important thing. Also, we can go in the mushroom cave today, so we'll do that. But yeah, we got that to look forward to. And yeah, the end of uh, winter is almost here already, so that's something we need to start paying a little bit more attention to. Um, so yeah, we'll start working on that. Uh, we got, we can put two new crops in, okay. So let's go grab some seeds. What do we want to throw in there? Do I want to throw coffee in again? I kind of want to put things in that will last a while. Coffee isn't... I know I kind of like get rid of stuff as I go, but... I think I'd rather have things that just replace themselves, like... Things that don't go away after a single harvest, than not. So I might just put like coffee in there again or something like that. Just to get like more items, you know? Yeah, we got the coop here with the auto grabber. The auto grabber looks pretty cool. It does this. I should definitely get one for the uh, barn as well. So yeah, that's just a helpful thing. We can obviously come in here and pet everyone yet, but yeah, it automatically harvests for us. So that's cool. Yeah, I'll definitely. I should maybe just get one tomorrow for the. Uh... A lot of these guys don't like me, okay. <laughs> I guess I was doing something wrong, I don't know. Um, yeah, the uh, festival's about to start, actually. Oh. So, let's uh, dump off our items that we don't want. Which is that. And some of this stuff. The rest of it we can sell, I think. Uh, oh, we have that egg that we can put in as well. Alright, the Feast of the Winter Star has begun. Alright, let's head over there. Let's go and participate. Let's be a good town member. Oh, look at all these worms, though. Might be a little bit. We could get something rare. You never know. We did not, though. Clay and, uh, that. Oh, there's a shop here now. I think that's new. What do you got to sell, Pierre? Alright. You have a tree. That's cool. Alright. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of people here. Hello. Yeah, we can talk to everybody if we want to. Another tool. Happy feasting, Kent. I gotta go around. Oh, we got some people up here. I hear the legend of the winter star. In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortunes and would claim the mysterious fruit known as Star Drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Okay. What a beautiful tree. Pam's still sore about the ice fishing. Um, not a good time of year for diet. I agree. 
Uh, we we'll talk to more people first. New camera. What are you hoping to find? How about stylish boots? Why not? I, none of those options were great, but yeah. It's fine art. Making candy canes. Oh, really? Hello. Hi, Clint. How you doing? Oh, Clint's lonely. <laughs> Poor Clint. Too much nog. Ah. Alright. Alright, we'll give Evelyn her gift then. Here you go. So it's you. A tulip, thanks. I hope she liked it. <laughs> oh. Cool, Pierre's our person today. Hey, Stealth Jacob, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. Ah, oh, glow ring, okay. We received a glow ring. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Glow rings aren't bad. Alright. Cool. Um, is there anything else around town we can do? I'm just kind of looking around if we can find anything. You never know. We can go pretty far. Is there anything over here? Hmm. Just taking a brief stroll around. Oh, hey, there's Linus. We haven't seen him yet. You're welcome, Linus. You can join in. Come on. I've got Jazz up here. I also have Lewis and Marty. Today is the time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Thank you. I appreciate that. I agree it is a good fortune. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Alright, I think we'll head out. We kind of did everything. There's not a lot to it. Like, you could talk to everybody and... Kind of just do that. Uh, but yeah, we're getting some more money out of like mayonnaise and stuff now, which is kind of cool. That's a thing we haven't done really too often ever. <laughs> Alright, let's put everything away though. We got clay and that. Cool. Not too bad. Oh, we got a diamond. Nice. Alright, let's get to the next day. Alright. Yeah, we got 2,000 gold. Oh. A lot of it was mayonnaise. A, a fourth of it. Mayonnaise is pretty worthwhile if you get some. But yeah, day 26. I mean, next episode's the last episode of this in-game year. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's check out the TV. It's gonna be sunny. The uh, fortune. Not be good. Okay, that's not good. I order too much fertilizer for the garden. Take... I bet you can put to good use. Take care, Jody. Oh, thanks, Jody. Yeah, we can use that upcoming season. Definitely. Alright, let's check out the greenhouse, see if there's any ancient fruit or anything like that. Uh, no, but we do have strawberries, which is very good. So this might be a profitable day, too. Actually, 
We should probably turn these strawberries into seeds and grow them next season. That might be worthwhile. Plus we can grow them in here too, that might be good. Strawberries are pretty profitable. I think that actually might be a really good idea. Instead of uh, just getting the same sort of stuff. Plus we wouldn't have to buy any of the seeds either. Hmm. That could work. Yeah, we might do that. If we can get up to 24 of these, then we can easily set up a whole sprinkler for them, you know? Yeah, we might try and do that. Although, I don't think we're going to have enough. No, we're only at, we're halfway there, but it is possible, but pretty unlikely. We can at least fill most of it with one. Yeah, that's okay. Either way, I'm, I'm going to probably put some strawberries in here as well. Just wait for that pumpkin. Yeah, we want more things that are regrowable. You know what I mean? We're at 19. We got pretty close. We'll plant that, though. So yeah, we could fill most of a whole spot up, which would be good. Yeah, we only need three more, which is not bad. If we get another strawberry, we can probably get it. Oh, we got some uh, gold or something in the water. Could be anything, but it is gold. Look at that. Auto grabber. Animals are producing good products, which is nice. I don't really do much with them, but we have them. There's just so many aspects of the game you can play in so many different ways. Like me personally, animals are not like the biggest thing to me. Like, we kind of did animals just to do them. Like we have them and everything. But like it's not like a big deal to me, in my personal opinion. Alright, we can uh, visit the... We could go to the Traveling Merchant today. There's also some ink up there. We'll grab that. Ooh, we got more items to get. Bring a shell. Ooh, we might, ha we might have that. We'll have to take a look, but I think we do. We also have some caviar and some roe to sell. Yeah, we need to get this built at some point. We're getting near the end of the season. So yeah, if we can build that up, that'd be good. What do you got? You have a cherry sapling. Alright, nothing worth, really. While we're here, we might as well go chop some wood. But yeah, next episode's definitely going to be trying to get ready for this for spring. We'll probably focus on getting like our sprinklers ready, maybe plant out the seeds we want to grow. That type of stuff. Yeah, a lot of planning probably in the next episode for sure. This one, not too much, but... A lot of worms in the ground here. Might as well get them. Maybe they'll drop something rare. You never know. Doesn't look like it. I think our inventory is also full. Yeah, let's grab more hardwood here. Just gotta build up again. Kind of spent it all. Yeah, I'll just leave that. We have a couple already at home. I do want to see if Marnie has that item available. If she has another, well, we'll see if we can buy another auto grabber for the other animals. I'm 
I'm kind of just doing it to see if I get rare stuff. My inventory is full. But... Alright, hopefully Marnie is home. Oh, good. Uh, we'll sell her like an egg. Buy another auto grabber. Cool. So now we can put that in the, uh, in the barn. That should get us ant like more uh, cow, pig, and other products, which is not bad. So we need to look and see if we have a Nautilus shell. Okay, I think I want to think we have one, but I don't exactly know. All right, let's uh, clean out our inventory a little bit here. We'll throw the seeds in here. Sell like the mayonnaise and sell that. Um, sell those. There we go, that cleared it out a little bit. Okay, got it. it doesn't matter too much to me. Okay, let's go place the auto grabber in here. Let's go place it right there next to the doorway. All right, let's see if we can find a Nautilus shell in our chest mess. Uh, not in there. Not seeing in there either. There's a chance we might have gotten rid of all of them, so it's starting to look like the case. Oh, we do have one. Perfect. That's all we need. That's okay. That's all we needed. We got lucky with that one. Alright, cool. That is nice. Um, okay. So we got all that sorted out. Do I have any... I do have one iridium sprinkler. I would need another one. We could start building that, uh... The fencing thing. We also want four scarecrows. I'm just going with cool looking ones. I don't really care too much, but yeah. Um. Let's see. Let's get this built if we can. Neither. How do I build these things? Let's go check out the... I know I didn't build them, like, super well. Because there's, like, a gap behind this, isn't there? Yeah, there is. So basically, it's like a square, but then the, the back is, like, too wide. If that makes sense. that. So now I can put like the scarecrows on the corners. Alright. And now we need to measure out iridium sprinkler size compared to these. So it's like one, two, I think it's like that.
Oh wait, that does not look right. <laughs> I don't think that one's big enough. Yeah, the shaping is kind of odd with these. They're like slightly bigger. This one might be slightly worse because of that corner. Because it won't work. That should work, and we can do one over here. One, two. So right here. should probably be plenty. Yeah. This is functional, technically, so... I think we'll just have this one be, like, two only. So we'll, if we can build another sprinkler, we will. We should have the resources, but that should be all we need for uh, sprinklers, actually. We're kind of cutting back on the amount of farming, but we'll make it more efficient. If that makes sense. Let's do some void eggs, why not? But yeah, next episode should be the last one of the in-game seasons. That's pretty exciting. What do I need for iridium, sprinkler, iridium, gold, and battery? Luckily I have those, but we don't have a lot of iridium. Which we need for Willy, but yeah. This will be more important overall, just more money. So we have one, two, three, four, five down here. I'm just counting out how many sprinklers we have. Uh, if that's the case, I might just want to move the whole thing up one. I might do that. to visit the wizard tomorrow. So we need to move that. Um, Cause yeah, I want to have as much efficiency as I can. So getting all 24 spaces would be more beneficial. So yeah, if it's gonna go... Like that. This will work. There we go. That should be the efficiency we're looking for. Alright. We'll work on this more tomorrow. Yeah, they would be here and here. Yeah, we'll work on it more tomorrow, though. But we'll need to move that back one. It's a little bit unfortunate. That is fine. So yeah, next episode, final preparations for spring, which is exciting. 
All right, let's throw in some more eggs. We'll go more void, why not? I think void eggs are actually very profitable. Void mayonnaise. We'll find out, but I believe it is. All right. But anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of Stardew Valley. If you guys enjoyed the episode, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you can click the subscribe button right here. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. See ya!